Hello, I'm Andy Skinner and I'm here with Creative Expressions to film a video on some of my new products. Um, for this video we're going to be using one of the background stamps in my range. So this is distressed wallpaper uh, and I'll show you it's fantastic for backgrounds. We're going to be using the Imperial Rover, okay, bicycle stamp and the Enigma code. We're also going to be using some of the mixed media transfers. For this one I'm going to be using the Poe Diversity, along with Cosmic Shimmer Chalk Paint and Archiver Link. We're also going to be using a few elements that we're going to stick on using the Quick Grab Glue. Um, a fantastic glue, really strong and it sticks things in place straight away. They're not going to slide. So we get started. I'll just move these out the way. And we'll stick those on after we've done our background. So you can see on this sample, you can see in the right in the background the grunge wallpaper. And we got the Niven code as well, which we're going to be using. Um, it's just nice subtle backgrounds to stamp on especially. So we start by painting with the warm white, the Cosmic Shimmer chalk paint. And we're going to put one coat all over to kind of base it. Okay, and I'll give that a quick dry. So, to start with, we're going to use the Distress Wallpaper Stamp with Archive Link, and I'm going to use the watering can. And we're going to use Woodware Stamp Press for this. I'm going to get it nice and inked up. So there we have our distressed wallpaper stamp. As you can see it's nice and subtle in the background. You wouldn't want to be using black archival ink for this because it's going to be too heavy for a background stamp. So even though I've gone floral, we're going to kind of do a little bit steampunky floral. So next up I'm going to stamp the Imperial Rover Cycles. And for this I'm going to stamp in black archival, which will make it pop in front of the background. So the stamp won't fit over the whole tag, but I'm going to bring it in from the side. So you can see it pops in front of that watering can archive link. And next, a little bit of the Enigma code. And again, we do this in black. Maybe that's my black. I'm not going to bring it too far down. And I'm just going to go in from the bottom as well. Yep, that's nice and light. That's where we are so far. 
So now we're going to use some elements. These are grey board cogs. We've also got a metal embellishment of a cog and we start to apply these to the front. Now if you wanted to let's say give this a, a tint or a colour, we can add water to a paint and wash it. So before I add those cogs, let's just see with the chalk paint, lots of water. So I've got some clean water here, really important for doing a wash. And I want to be subtle. So you can actually see, you can still see the detail of the stamp behind it. Quite often what I do with a wash like this, I would just tap, just with a bit of kitchen roll. Just adds a bit of depth and texture to it. Okay, so for the cogs, this one is going to go on as it is. It's got the kind of bronze effect to it, but these we're going to paint. I'm going to use a stipple brush. And I'm going to use the chalkboard Cosmic Shimmer chalk paint. And the stipple brush will give us a little bit of texture. and we dry all of these. Okay, while they're drying properly, we're just going to add a couple of the mixed media transfers. Let's put the lids back on the archive, I think. And I'm going to kind of keep in with the steampunk theme. So this is a gas turbine uh, diagram. And again, I'm not going to use it all. I'll come in from the side. Use the lollipop stick that comes with them. And then just rub. And you don't have to go too hard with this. Then keep your finger on the transfer as you pull away. I can see a couple of misses there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to run a couple of the number stamps. Come in from there. Let's put one in here. There we go. The beauty of these transfers is they're so easy to line up because of the transparency that they're set on. You can see exactly where you're going to place them. Right, now to the cogs. So we're going to use the stipple brush again. Completely dry. And our rust oxide paint. So we're going to stipple this on. We're not going to cover all the grey. We want some of that grey um, still showing. Gray on my brush. And it's a very thin coat, but we're not going all over. I'm going to take some of that out of the brush. 
So I'm allowing some of that grey to slightly show through. And then we're going to dry. And then we're just going to edge slightly with the watering can archival ink again. There we go, instant rust. And I'm going to add just a little bit of text on them from the, the Rover Bicycle stamp in Black Archival. This will be subtle in the background again. There we go. We're now going to edge lightly around the side of the tank with the watering can. So we start to stick the elements on. We're going to use the new quick wrap glue. So this will stick the metal as well as the grey board. It also dries clear. So we'll have one coming from that side. So, I mean, it grabs straight away. Okay, it's really powerful stuff. And it does give you about a minute to position. So, it's not instant dry. You can still position it, but it stays in place. And we'll put a little bit on the metal embellishment. Now, if the glue is slightly eased out, it will dry clear, but I like to get rid of it. So just pure water and just pick it up with your brush. There we go, and just a quick dry. So I'm going to show you one more technique with this, but that's the stage we've got to now. So it's quite crisp and clean with the colours. If you do want to go down that steampunk route, then we'll be using the same colour again, the rust oxide, with some water. This time I mix a little bit of the chalkboard grey with it. So that's just aged it. Um, when I'm doing this kind of thing, we're on bigger pieces, I try to make everything look like it's kind of aged at the same time. So giving it a wash like this just gives it like a vintage effect.
And that's the finished project. Thanks very much for watching.